What's going on everybody? This is Jaden with How to Apple and Watch OS 6.1 has been released and in this video we're going to go over some of the security vulnerabilities that this update addresses. So if you go into your watch app and you go to general and you'll see software, whoops, software update. And as you can see, mine is downloading right now, but watch OS 6.1 is available. Now if you click on this link that says for information on the security content of this update, please vis visit this website. And many people do not look at this, but there are actually some pretty serious vulnerabilities that are being addressed in this update. So it'll take you to this page, which I have linked in the description below. Scroll down to where you find your operating system. We're looking for Watch OS 6.1. And you scroll down, this is where you'll begin to get into some of the vulnerabilities and what was done to address it. Um, for example, the accounts, um, a remote attacker may be able to leak memory. So what was done with that is an out of bounds read. Yeah, an out of bounds read was addressed with improved input validation. Um, the app store, a local attacker may be, may be able to log in to the account of a previously logged in user without valid credentials. So that's pretty serious. They can be downloading apps under your credentials. That, that's pretty serious and how it was addressed. An authentication issue was addressed with improved state management. Uh, let's see, the audio. Um, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with secure uh, with system privileges. So, any app that's using your microphone could access some of your audio with system privileges. In other words, meaning it doesn't have to ask for allow or deny or whatever. So, that's pretty serious. Um, contacts uh, processing a maliciously I want to processing a maliciously contact. That doesn't even make sense to me. So we're just gonna move on from that. <laughs> uh, file system events, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with system privileges, again. So it might be able to access your files on your watch, I'm assuming this is. I'm not sure how connected that is with your phone, but this is pretty serious stuff. Uh, a memory corruption issue was addressed with improved state, with improved memory handling. Uh, let's see, an app, ooh, the kernel. An application may be able to read restricted memory. So data that's supposed to be restricted on your on your device, an application may be able to read that. So there's a lot of leaks in iOS, I'm sorry, in Watch OS 6 that I guess they found and 6.1 addresses a lot of that. So definitely look at this uh, website and look at the list of things so you can see the security updates or the vulnerabilities that this update addresses. So. Yeah, this is pretty serious stuff and many people do not pay attention to this. So guys, that was a quick video update for Watch OS 6.1. If you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. I'll be doing more videos with security vulnerabilities and stuff that are addressed in these updates. So give this video a like, subscribe to my channel so you can learn how to Apple without the E.